Prison gangs are known for their violent tactics, ruthless power plays, and criminal activities both inside and outside of prison walls. These gangs are often organized around race, ethnicity, and geographic region, and they use intimidation and terror to maintain their territories and influence. In this video, we'll explore some of the most dangerous and powerful prison gangs in the world, including their size, illegal activities, and enemies. Number 10. Texas Syndicate the Texas Syndicate is a potent prison gang that emerged in the 1970s and has since expanded its influence beyond Texas correctional facilities. Primarily comprised of Mexican-American members, the gang emphasizes loyalty, brotherhood, and ethnic identity. While the Texas Syndicate has a presence in various Texan prisons, its largest concentration of members can be found in the state's infamous Huntsville Unit. According to estimates, the gang boasts a considerable membership of around 1,500 individuals within this particular correctional facility. The Texas Syndicate has been involved in various criminal pursuits, notably orchestrating a large-scale drug trafficking operation from behind bars in 2019. They face opposition from rival prison gangs such as the Mexican Mafia and the Barrio Azteca. Number 9. Black Disciples the Black Disciples prison gang originated as a street gang in Chicago, Illinois. They quickly gained notoriety for their criminal activities, which eventually led many members to end up in prison. Inside the prison system, they swiftly rose to become the most feared gang. According to the latest information, the Stateville Correctional Center in Illinois houses the highest number of Black Disciples members, estimated at around 300. The gang is led by influential figures referred to as King Shorties or King Brothers, who wield substantial control and influence within the organization. Number 8. La Nuestra Familia La Nuestra Familia emerged in the 1960s within the California prison system as a response to the dominance of the Mexican Mafia, also known as La M. Originally formed to protect Hispanic inmates from rival gangs, Nuestra Familia quickly established itself as a formidable force in the prison hierarchy. Nuestra Familia has a strong presence in Pelican Bay State Prison, located in Crescent City, California, although it is also found in other correctional facilities throughout California. It's estimated that Pelican Bay alone houses approximately 400 to 500 members of the gang. Operating under parliamentary hierarchy, La Nuestra Familia maintains a well-defined chain of command. The gang has engaged in various criminal activities, and its leadership structure remains highly secretive. Number 7. United Blood Nation the United Blood Nation, an offshoot of the original Bloods street gang, emerged in the 1990s. Unlike its street counterpart, UBN primarily operates within correctional facilities, utilizing a hierarchical structure and unwavering loyalty to expand its influence. Originating in Rikers Island, New York City's main jail complex, the gang provided protection and camaraderie to incarcerated Bloods members. With members spread across various U.S. prisons, UBN is particularly prominent within the New York State Department of Corrections and Community Supervision. Estimated to have 1,500 to 2,000 members, the gang engages in extortion and the drug trade within correctional facilities, enabling them to maintain power and generate income. Number 6. Mara Salvatrucha Mara Salvatrucha, also known as the MS-13, originated in Los Angeles during the 1980s as a defense against rival gangs and protection for Salvadoran immigrants. Initially formed by Salvadoran immigrants fleeing the Civil War in their homeland, the gang gained notoriety for its involvement in organized crime. It has particularly strong influence within the El Salvadoran prison system, boasting an estimated membership of around 8,000 individuals. The significant number of members led to the construction of a dedicated prison for the gang. Over time, MS-13 has expanded its presence beyond borders, establishing a formidable presence in countries such as the United States, Canada, Mexico, and parts of Europe. Number 5. Barrio Azteca 
The Barrio Azteca Prison Gang originated in the border region of El Paso, Texas and Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Formed in the late 1980s and early 1990s, the gang united Mexican-American nationals seeking protection from the violent environment prevalent in the area. They've since expanded their influence to various prisons across the United States. One notable concentration of members is found in the El Paso County Detention Facility, where approximately 400 gang members are estimated to be present. The gang employs violence, intimidation, and coercion to maintain dominance within correctional facilities, targeting rival gang members, inmates, and even prison personnel. Number 4. Tango Blast Tango Blast is a notorious prison gang that originated in Texas in the 1990s. Initially formed from the merger of regional gangs, it primarily consists of Hispanic inmates. Over the years, Tango Blast has expanded its influence to other states like California and Arizona. One notable hotspot for their activities is the Caulfield Unit in Texas, where they have a strong presence with an estimated membership exceeding 500 individuals. The secretive nature of their leadership makes it difficult for law enforcement to identify a single leader of Tango Blast. Their criminal activities pose a significant threat to prison security in the United States. Number 3. Black Guerrilla Family The Black Guerrilla Family was formed during the 1960s Black Power Movement to protect imprisoned African Americans from violence and discrimination. Founded by George Lester Jackson in 1966 while he was in San Quentin State Prison, the gang has expanded its activities beyond its initial purpose. The BGF is now associated with organized crime, drug trafficking, and violence both inside and outside prison walls. Maryland State Prison, known as the Supermax Prison, is one of the facilities where the gang has a significant membership, ranging from several dozen to over a hundred individuals. Additionally, the BGF is involved in criminal enterprises such as drug distribution and targeted attacks on rival gangs or individuals. Number 2. Mexican Mafia the Mexican Mafia, also known as La M, has its roots in the California prison system. Like most other gangs and Mexican Mafia originally formed to protect fellow Mexican-American prisoners from other ethnic gangs, the Mexican Mafia soon grew into a highly organized criminal syndicate with a strong presence in numerous prisons across the country. Although the Mexican Mafia has expanded its influence beyond California, its stronghold remains within the state's prison system. The most prominent prison where the gang has a significant presence is San Quentin State Prison. As of recent estimates, it's believed that the Mexican Mafia has approximately 200 active members in this institution alone, wielding immense power and influence. Number 1. Aryan Brotherhood the Aryan Brotherhood, also referred to as Prison Nazis, is a well-known white supremacist prison gang in the United States. It emerged in California's San Quentin State Prison during the racially charged 1960s and has since gained notoriety for its organized criminal activities. Currently, Florence High in California has the highest concentration of Aryan Brotherhood members. Despite being smaller in size compared to other gangs, they wield significant power and are notorious for their brutal actions. Prospective members typically need to commit a prison murder to join the gang. The Aryan Brotherhood has a history marked by violence, including assaults, murders, and intimidation, often directed towards individuals of different races or rival gangs. It's important to note that these prison gangs are not limited to operating only inside prison walls. They also have a strong presence outside of prison, where they continue to engage in illegal activities such as drug trafficking, money laundering, and human trafficking. These gangs are highly organized and have extensive networks, making them a significant threat to public safety.